Hello and welcome on Watchers TV. I'm going to talk about a brand that we've already talked a few times uh, on the channel. It has an originality because it's a Russian brand. Uh, so tell us about uh, how things are going for you with Raketa. Things are doing very well. So we have our own manufacturing in St. Petersburg. All of these watches are produced nearly 100% in-house, which is quite incredible. And uh, each of these watches tells a really amazing Russian story about cosmonauts, Russian avant-garde art, submariners. So it's really cool. And uh, in today's context, let's say, does it have any impact on you? Not really, because we produce nearly, as I said, 100% for, so we don't buy any components from Switzerland. We don't buy our mechanical movements. We produce it ourselves with Russian, you know, stainless steel, brass. So we're very much independent from the rest of the world. Uh, it's a bit more difficult in terms of logistics. Yeah. It's more expensive, long, difficult, but um, otherwise, um, you know, we just do beautiful watches. Uh, we tell interesting stories and when we try to stay as far as possible from politics. I can imagine. But uh, the brand has developed quite uh, significantly, I would say, over the last five years. What's the secret? The secret is just, um, you know, we're not a fashion brand that tries to adapt, adapt to fashions and trends. So we've been around for a very long time. It's a Soviet manufacturer, Soviet brand. And we're really, we have a strategy in the long run. So we just do qualitative watches with very nice designs. And it's a very authentic brand, which people really appreciate. When we say we are made in Russia, we're really made in Russia. When we say it's our own mechanical movements, you will not find it anywhere else. And uh, we have a small collection, but a very strong collection. Uh, and each of our watches tells a really authentic story. And that's what people really appreciate. Mm -hmm. um, it's the authenticity of the brand. Mm -hmm. And in terms of price range, what is kind of the, what you have? So you can get um, this kind of watch, which is manufactured with a counterclockwise movement, very difficult complication. Uh, for a very reasonable price point, which average price 1,500 euros without VAT, mm -hmm. which is pretty amazing for what you get. Mm -hmm. And we can do that because we produce in Russia where the cost of production is way lower than in Switzerland, for mm -hmm. example. Actually, tell us a little bit more about this anti-clockwise uh, movement. So this is a complication that the factory developed in the Soviet times. They never had the time to produce it because the Soviet Union collapsed and they had bigger problems. And I found it in the drawers and I thought, wow, this is amazing. And no one else does that. And I asked them, why did you want to reverse the time on, mm -hmm. on the dial? And they said, because in the DNA of Raketa, space is important. Raketa means a space rocket. And if you look at the stars, you'll see that all the planets turn around the sun counterclockwise. So they said, let's do a watch where time will move on the dial in harmony with the natural movement of the planets around the sun, which is really, really cool. <laughs> uh, so it fits the DNA. It's a very difficult complication and it's a really cool story. So when you wear that watch, you can talk about it for, and it will be very interesting. When you say it's complicated, what precisely makes it complicated? Well, if you buy an ETA movement, you cannot reverse the time. To reverse the time, we had to re-engineer the barrel spring and the escapement, uh, the anchor and the anchor wheel. So it's the very heart of the mechanical movements, uh, the source of energy and the regulator. So when you buy movement, you can't change that. I mean, it's extremely difficult. And we can do it because we produce uh, the hairspring, the balance wheel, the escapements, um, everything. Okay. So um, we, we can do that. So that's one of the big... And we can also do some really cool decorations of the movement. Uh, because we produce, you know, you decorate the components before assembly. So that's one of the big... Uh, advantages that we have. Okay, so you're quite a uh, versatile operation. Yeah. All right. So, what other models do you want to show us? So, the most um, the most classic, uh, iconic design we have is the Big Zero. It's a design from the Soviet times, uh, which has become very iconic because of the Zero. Mm -hmm. And since then, every Raketa watch has a Zero. It's kind of a trademark. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it's always automatic movements with a really nice decoration at the back. I can also show you a watch that came out um, this year is the Ekranaplan watch. It's another movement we have, it's a 24-hour movement. Uh, this is very useful if you're a cosmonaut, a submariner, or a polar explorer. Uh, you can distinguish day or night thanks to your dial. Mm -hmm. um, that's a really cool watch also. And a watch that's um, the counterclockwise that I just show you, showed you, uh, which has always been one of our best sellers because people 
a lot of people buy watches more for emotions than to actually read time. But after two days wearing this watch, you, you can very easily adapt and understand. Uh, I don't know, can you read the time of that watch? It's 11.12. Uh, exactly, you see? It's not so difficult. <laughs> Just need to get used to it, I guess, yeah. But uh, no, it's quite original. All right, well, thank you very much for having us. And uh, congrats and best of luck to you. Thanks. All right. Bye, guys.